In the previous video, we saw how to create a chatbot with Chainlet for user interface and Llama as the LLM. But if you run the program, you will see that the chat history is not saved. And so we cannot prompt based on the previous answers or the questions. In this video, we will see how to use the conversation memory in the Chainlet chatbot. The LLM we will be using is the OpenAI. If you want to use Llama CPP, that is also possible. And I've given it in comments how to use the Llama CPP with the local Llama model. First step, as usual, we import Chainlet. From Langchain, we need to import ROM template and conversation chain. Now, we are using a conversation chain instead of an LLM chain because a conversation chain has the ability to store the chat history. For the memory, we use a conversation buffer memory. And the chat model that we use is a chat open AI. Look at the difference here. I could have either used a langchain.llm or I can use a chat model. Now let's import open AI and let's take the security key and then create a chat open AI model for GPT 3.5 turbo with the open AI API key and the temperature set. If you want to use the local Llama CPP, you can download the model from the link here, which will also be given in the description below. And then instead of creating an instance for chat open AI, you can create an instance for Llama CPP and work. We create the template for the prompt with two input variables. One has to be the history. Let's give it under the current conversation and the input from the human. Let's make use of chainlet on chat start, which is when the chat starts, what work has to be done. Let's create an object for prompt template. By passing the template and the input variables, remember to pass the history and input. This is the input from the user. And then the chain that we create is a conversation chain with the prompt, the LLM, where both is equal to true to say that I want to know what the chain is doing. And I store the chat history in a conversation buffer memory. Then finally, we set the user session with the chain that is to be considered. We require asynchronous programming because we want the chain to run only after the message is received. And after the chain is run, we again want to get the input from the user. So to say that we are going to use asynchronous programming, we use the async keyword and we define the function. In the function, we receive the message. First, in chainlet, we need to get the chain LLM chain supports three classes for asynchronous processing. One is the A call, A predict and A run. And in that we send the message and the async lang chain callback handler. This has to be performed asynchronously. And so we append it with the await keyword. The result that we receive has three keys. One is the response key, one is the input key, and the history key. The keys that are received will differ for different types of chains. We send the message which we get in response to the chatbot. So asynchronously, we send the message and we run the LLM chain. If I want to change the name of the chain and the chatbot, I can use rename. So here I say that the conversation chain has to be renamed as agent and chatbot has to be renamed as assistant. Let's run it and see. Chainlet run. The name of the file is chainlet conversation chain. And I can give the hyphen W if I wanted to run, even when I make some changes in the code. In my root directory, I find a file called as chainlet.md and 
I have made the changes that I want in the welcome screen here. All you have to do is go and change whatever you want in this. Similarly, in dot chainlet, you find a config.toml file. The chain of thought that is being performed would be displayed. Normally, the chain of thoughts details are displayed to the user in the chat bot. If you want to hide it, go to hide chain of thought and give it as true. As per the welcome screen given in the .md file, I have the user interface. So let's try to add two and three. The reason I'm giving this prompt is to check if my chat history is considered while chatting and note that the chatbot is called as the assistant. And so I say add four to the result. The result of adding two and three is five. If we add four to that, the new sum would be nine. So we now know that the chat history has been considered. Thank you.